Hi everyone, I'm Norm, your community liaison for Species at Risk. Today's episode is a really special one because we're going to be learning about a species whose Canadian population can only be found here in Manitoba's tall grass prairie. In fact, over 50% of the global population is found right here. So I'm talking about the Western Prairie French Orchid. This is such a special species that when it was first discovered in the late 1980s, it was a key reason for the tall grass prairie preserve to be opened up. Stay tuned and we'll learn all about this unique species at risk. The Western Prairie Fringe Orchid is a real standout here in the tall grass prairie. So it is a fairly tall orchid growing up to heights of close to 90 centimeters. Towards the top of the flower we have 5 to 25 white deeply fringed flower heads. Now these usually bloom end of June into July. but this orchid doesn't always bloom. So when it appears in its vegetative state, it's a lot easier to walk past without noticing it. So we have to look at the leaves and stem, which are of course green in color, thin leaves that are scattered throughout. So once you learn what the Western Prairie Fringe Orchid looks like, you won't soon forget it. These beautiful orchids are found throughout Manitoba's tall grass prairies wherever the soil is calcium rich and they do best when the water table is high. So they're also found in not quite these natural areas. They're found along roadways and in the ditches. So the maintenance of these roadways and ditches has had a negative effect on the overall population but really the key to the loss of western prairie fringe orchids is the loss of our tall grass prairie. There are also some more complex issues that the orchid faces such as low genetic diversity seeing that we're at the very northern end of their range and even more complex issues like when we're talking about their pollinators. So with the western prairie fringe orchid in this area, it has only been observed that they have two different pollinators, and both of these are uncommon types of sphinx moths. Now, these moths' peak flying time does not correspond with the orchid's peak flowering time. Therefore, these two don't, don't cross quite as well as they possibly could, especially in the more southern portions of this area. These are all different reasons why the Western Prairie Fringe Orchid needs some help from us. Although the Western Prairie Fringe Orchid has some real challenges to overcome, we have taken important steps to ensure the overall population is around for generations to come. We're lucky in regards to where the population is. Here in Manitoba, upwards of 80% of our population is found in the tall grass prairie preserve. That means that we are better able to manage the habitat for the orchid. So we do things like prescribed burns, rotational grazing, haying, and even invasive plant and woody species control. There is also a lot of research and surveying being done. So it's actually unlikely for the range of these orchids to increase due to the limited amount of suitable habitat. But what we can do is by following all these steps, make sure that they are around for years to come. And I truly think that the Western Prairie Fringe Orchid is worth all the effort. 
Thanks for watching everyone. If anyone has any questions about this beautiful orchid, please don't hesitate to contact me at sarcommunityliaison at gmail.com. See you next time.